Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin is currently um, just doing what we talked about in the last video. No, no change in wave count needed. With Ethereum, we moved over to the um, more bullish count, but also nothing, nothing new. We need to, we discussed that in detail that Ethereum could also push into the 14, 1500 region. That Bitcoin might not push that high and might not invalidate the current wave count, whereas Ethereum might because Ethereum has already looked um, much stronger down here. Yeah, so that's all part of the analysis. These are all the details that you can, you know, that you can sort of um, get out of the chart if you're really analyzing also with the help of FIP levels, with the help of Elliott Wave analysis, because what that would have helped people is to decide, you know, do I trade Bitcoin, do I trade Ethereum long in this expected move to the upside? And the Ethereum move would have been more profitable. Yeah, Ethereum basically, is already if you look at it in terms of percentage and and retracements um ethereum compared to bitcoin would be somewhere up here already yeah so just to, to compare that that's just to explain why bitcoin doesn't really need a change in wave count so for bitcoin the scenario currently is unchanged it can change to something more bullish yeah we talked about it it could also become like that is what we've done with eth i just want to provide some context here that this could become a larger ABC and we could break the December high, but that's not, um, let's say that's not so close that I would need to bring that onto the chart. I can show you how it would look like, but it's not needed yet. Yeah, so just know about the possibility that this uptrend doesn't need to be over. Just if we reach ideal targets, this can stretch out further. But is, that's the reason why we're looking at it level by level, identifying key support areas, identifying target areas. Um, that's the green count, yeah. We would then move up in, um, oops. Yeah, we would assume this wave four was never finished. This was a wave A to the upside at uh, on the 5th of December at 17,400. We came down in a wave B here on the did it, did, 19th of December at around 16,270. And this was just here an A, B, C. Yeah? Um, and we're now moving up in the green count. That would be a one, two, three could be nearly finished, but probably not yet. There would be a four down and a five up. Yeah. So here, no, this, this wave three in green would not be finished yet. To finish off this wave three in green and to be more confident that we actually are in this green count, we would have to move to at least the 1.618 extension, which is basically at 17.6K. So we're far away from that. So at the moment, my view is still that we are here in this ABC pattern in blue, which is the other count in which we can look at, okay, was wave four finished up here, which was the December high at 18,430, no, uh, 18,390 pretty much. And we are moving down in the blue count next, yeah, or we are moving down in this now, but what we're doing now um, is just a wave two retracement here within a larger downturn that could finally take us to that additional low for Bitcoin. Now I know on days like these, everybody's happy because we see a bit upside, that's fine. Yeah, but I encourage you for a sanity check always to zoom out because the move of the low here is far from impulsive. And also this whole structure is not impulsive. The C wave, comes close to impulsive, but also here for Bitcoin, it looks rather like an ending diagonal. We're moving in a broadening, expanding wedge that is a rather bearish pattern. Okay, so please, please be aware here that this can break down at any point. Um, until it breaks down, yeah, we're tracking support levels, we're tracking targets that can be used for swing trading, scalping, whatever. Um, and then when it breaks down, we just stop <laughs> and we, we look at a possible short or so. Um, down in this third wave, which could then eventually, you know, the third wave should take us to around 15k, yeah, and that fifth wave down here to around 14k, maybe even a bit lower. So I'm still looking for another low for Bitcoin. I know on days like these, it's incredible how emotions can change, you know. It's so funny because you remember that we, we've been talking about this upside now for, well, whatever, since, whew, since end of December. Yeah, so we've been waiting for this. It's happening. So it's, you know, no, no big deal is what we waited for. A lot of people, when we were down here, I mean, they're like, you know, I had comments like, oh, you know, you're wrong. You're not going to get this upside and so on. But now everybody's like, oh, the low is in, the low is in. You know, it's just zoom out 
Yeah, look at the bigger, bigger structure and the bigger structure reveals that we are far from having any evidence that a substantial bear market lowers in. It could be, as I said before, it could be, but um, we don't have the evidence. So we want to stay objective on this channel. There is, of course, you know, one indicator that really, really gives hope that the low could actually be in. And that is the two week MACD chart. I've shown you that now a few times. Um, on the two week MACD, historically, whenever that crossed, most of the times we actually had a bull run afterwards, we are very, very close. So especially if the crossover, the bullish crossover happened after a very strong decline, like after the bear market, yeah, we had one here that was back uh, April 2019 and we had one here after March 2022, uh, after March 2020. So <clears throat> we get one again. This doesn't happen very often. So this will be highly, highly interesting. Now it's, in again, if we are in the count I showed you, the blue count, and we break down immediately, this will probably not happen. Or it may, and then it will get sort of wiped out again. So, um, but it's, it's something I'm watching with high interest. We are still taking the bigger picture into account here in this descending wedge. Yeah. And this is, in my opinion, an ending, di or no, it's, it's the last wave of an ending diagonal. It's an ABC structure, ABC, and we're moving down in one, two, three, four, five, and this wave five should take us to one more low. We are even on the upside here. I mean, we haven't even broken out of the wedge. I mean, as I said before, this could take us to 18, 19K, not a problem. Maybe not quite 19K, um, but even a brief breakout of the wedge would not necessarily confirm that the bear market is over, right? But yeah, this is um, at the moment something I'm tracking. And now let's zoom into the micro, but there's not really any change here. So the idea is still at the moment, I'm tracking only the, the blue count, which doesn't mean it's the one that needs to work out. But as I explained in the short term, the blue and the green count, they are moving in similar ways. And that's why trading this move up was so interesting also for Ethereum, because um, we had confluence here between the blue and the green count. Yeah? Whenever we have that, you get more high probability trades, even though we had a little bit less confidence in this because of the sort of messiness of this entire structure here. Part of that probably due to the fact that <clears throat> it was end of the year and you had less parties involved. So the move up here still, you know, in this expanded broadening wedge. Um, in the last video, I made you aware that this is probably a wave one, this is wave two. We expect probably quite a strong move up in the third wave, which happened. We have now reached, I believe, the 1.618 extension, which would be the minimum expectation for that little third wave there. Let's see, that would be good. Probably we haven't reached it yet. No, we haven't reached it as far. Oh yeah, well, I gave you the target. I remember that in the last video, the one to one ratio. So we've reached that. Um, the crystal ball activated. No, just joking. But um, the idea was I, I wouldn't give you the 1.618 as, as target for the third wave, because I believe we are here possibly in some kind of a diagonal pattern. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you can get wave threes that are only going to the one to one ratio also in a impulse, but they are obviously very unlikely. So let's see, this could be, we've got five waves now, one, two, three, four, five in this wave three. There's no evidence it has topped yet. Next resistance would be 17,340. If we still push higher in this wave three, bear in mind, there's no sign it has topped yet. They can always extend out further. And then we've got 17,480. But if we come down now, support would be this way for support area. And we should, to maintain the current count, should hold this green support area. The green support area would also be another possible entry point. Now again, no financial advice, but it's an area where I would expect if we get into it, the price to reverse. And if it doesn't, we have another chance to reverse at 16,986. If that breaks, we're probably gonna come down and the C wave is over and we're probably breaking down. Now this is um, the area between the 23.6 retracement and the 50% retracement. And then we should get one more leg up, ideally also in the blue C wave. We'll see, uh, you know, this can be traded as long as it break, uh, until it breaks. So I'm gonna focus on that, keep track of this, let you know, update you later. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, also check out the channel membership. Here I do provide more frequent updates for all coins, especially for gold members, signals, you know, not stupid buy and sell signals because they won't help you. Um, Elliott Wave short term updates and Elliott Wave signals that you can use for trading. I am, um, you know, we've got the weekly live stream, had one on Sunday. 
about AI coins. Um, you can see all my trading view live charts. Yeah, even before I make a video, you see the updated charts. You can see when I update them and so on. There are announcements and a lot of additional content, really, ed educational content as well. So check out that if you like to. Also, if you like to support MCO, um, check out our uh, Bybit link in the description. They've got a bonus at the moment if you like to use Bybit uh, for trading. I think it's an up to 30,000 bonus depending on the terms. So check that out as well if you're interested. And other than that, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.